What's up? My name's Roman Fisher, and welcome back to my fitness channel. So creatine monohydrate versus creatine hydrochloride. Which is better? It can be really hard to pick one. Creatine monohydrate and creatine hydrochloride they're both very good. They really both offer the same benefits, I'm not gonna lie. However, one adds in a little something that you probably don't want. If you want all those benefits, fast muscle growth, better endurance, you can do either of these, but the hydrochloride will do it for you just without the bloating. The monohydrate, that on the other hand, I'm afraid to tell you, it will do all that, but it will bloat you. It will give you a bloated feeling. It will make you feel bloated and you will be bloated. And if you wanna look shredded, that is just not what you want. So really in summary, I'm gonna be straight with you. Use creatine hydrochloride. It is just as good as a monohydrate, but better. You won't feel bloated and you will not look bloated. There you have it. I take specifically the caged muscle creatine hydrochloride because it's natural and it's still creatine, creatine hydrochloride, but just without all those additives. I just like to be as natural as possible. So if you're hunting for a natural creatine supplement, definitely, definitely, definitely consider caged muscle. That's what I use. I'll post the link in the description. Caged muscle is where it's at. If you want all the benefits that you can get from creatine, you can get it from either of these. I'll say it again. They're both effective, but if you just don't want to look bloated, go with the creatine hydrochloride. That's all I gotta say. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like it. I kindly appreciate it. Please share to all your friends out there. And then please subscribe. And don't forget to tap that notification bell and I'll see you on my next video.